Traditionally, the work of an electrophysiologist such as myself would be to implant devices such as pacemakers or defibrillators in patients who had fast or slow heartbeats or do a procedure called an ablation, which is where we cauterize abnormal areas in the heart that are causing the abnormal heart rhythm. But more recently, we've expanded our area to include left atrial appendage occlusion, which is essentially a uh, procedure where you insert a device into the left atrium of the heart to wall off an area of the heart where blood clots form. We've done this in collaboration with, with our structural heart doctors, our advanced imaging doctors, and have brought that technology here to Grand Rapids. The nice thing about this uh, technology is that it can get patients who otherwise would have to be on blood thinners for their whole life off blood thinners. I think one of the other things that separates uh, Spectrum Health from other institutions in the area is how we approach atrial fibrillation. We have a designated atrial fibrillation clinic that is supported by all the heart rhythm doctors plus a staff of nurses and advanced uh, practitioners who um, see patients with newly diagnosed atrial fibrillation within a few days and start a very comprehensive approach to treating this disease, including risk factor modification from being overweight to having obstructive sleep apnea to being started on the appropriate medications, getting the right tests. Um, and it begins this pathway that may include just medical therapy or it may include more advanced therapy such as cardiac ablation. One of the things of our heart rhythm program that I'm most proud of is our clinical success rates. Uh, because we are fortunate enough to be a referral center, we are one of the busiest uh, EP programs in the country. And uh, as a result, our outcomes are also quite good. The, the higher volume places have been shown to have better outcomes because we develop standardized approaches to patients here in Grand Rapids. The reason that I decided to become a cardiologist uh, was I always knew I wanted to be a doctor but didn't really know what type of physician I wanted to be. When my grandmother was very ill uh, with congestive heart failure and saw her quality of life really deteriorate while I was in college, it really kind of inspired me to try to come up, try to be part of a team that would help patients who are suffering from heart disease live a better life.